Jimmy wants to know if his girlfriend, Kimberly, is carrying his biological child. We had an on and off relationship, you know, as friends with benefits for a while. And I met this other guy about three years ago, seen him off and on. And from there, I ended up pregnant. And there's two possibilities. To answer the question, the couple will try a new technology that promises to determine paternity as early as nine weeks into the pregnancy. We're at the DNA place, and we're going to get our blood drawn for a prenatal paternity test. It was simple, just a blood test. Just went in there, you know, did our thing, and got out within 30 minutes. I'd rather know it nine weeks instead of worrying about it for nine months. You kind of want to know beforehand, that way the father has it set in stone, you know, in the back of his mind that, hey, I can be there and see my child be born, and he knows it's his. The fetal DNA can make up as little as one or two percent of a mother's blood sample. The DNA is so fragmented, researchers can't use the accepted markers, such as short tandem repeats, to determine paternity. Instead, they look for changes as small as a single letter, spread through the three billion letters that make up our genome. All right, we received your result. It looks like here's an envelope for you, Jimmy, and one for you, Kimberly. Okay. I can't understand them. I'm not excluded as the father. What's that mean? I'm the father. No. He has the genetic markers that are required of the biological father, 99.9%. .9%. He's the father.